Hey, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Lala LaShawn. La 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 Shawn, coming to you live today to do a video on my updated foundation routine. Now, I've changed um, quite a few things as far as the way I do my foundation. Um, I literally just try, I have a primer now. I've tried different products and different ways that, um, are actually really helpful and benefiting towards me so i decided i would come to you guys and show you guys how i'm doing that before i do any other makeup tutorials just so you can see what the base of it is just to kind of cut down what i'm as far as the makeup tutorials that i'm going to do in the future so you guys already know how i'm doing my foundation routine and i won't have to enter that in so my eyes are already done i have my mascara as well as my eyeliner and just you know, just some simple pretty eyes. Um, they're actually a little bit darker, but you guys know my camera is crazy light. I've already applied my moisturizer, and I, I've been letting that dry. You, uh, you can use any moisturizer you want to. You don't. It's not a certain one that you have to use. I just prefer the little cheapies. Well, not cheapies, the Quake <laughs> Daily Moisturizer. So next, after I do that, what I do is I take my Smashpop. Absolutely love this primer. Now when I first got it, it actually was coming out like liquid, but it's actually supposed to come out in a kind of like a gel creamy form. Now you literally only need a little bit of this. I'm going to come to you guys with another video later on about um Um, I paid $18 for this at Ulta, so I'm going to actually come to you guys later on with a video about Ulta and the benefits of Ulta and why I like it so much. So, I'm just going to rub that on your face, just so your, your makeup will stay in place. And I actually like to uh, leave it on my face for a second just to let it seep in and let it let it get into my skin so yes alrighty and we're going to continue with the rest the rest of this video is going to be sped up um just a little bit just because some of the things are the same and I just um I want to make it you know so it doesn't tear quick and easy but so you still get the basis of what I'm actually doing. Alrighty, guys. Alright, so right here what I'm doing is going on and applying my foundation. I have MAC NW20 and NW15. The NW20 is in the Cream Studio Sculpt. MAC Studio Sculpt. And then the NW15 is a... Uh, Studio Fix Liquid, I believe. And I'm using my e.l.f. Studio <laughs> Black Stippling Brush. This isn't the small one. I believe this is like the large stippling brush. And I'm just using that to blend my makeup all on my face. I put about two coats overall on my face. Um, I say two coats just because um, I went over a couple of spots that I felt like you know, they were kind of a little too bare for me. You know, I don't want to bare spots, especially when I'm doing a full face. I'm just blending that in really, really well. I did try for a while to actually use my, um, my Beauty Blender dupes that I bought from Target. As much as I love that, I haven't actually successfully learned how to use it to put on my foundation now to do other things yeah it's great but as far as my foundation i feel like it i feel like it picks up too much product like instead of having the product on my face it actually soaks it up so that's been making me kind of upset so until i i figure out how to utilize that again i'm back to my stippling brush which I love like I've literally been using a little beauty blender dupe so much that I forgot 
how good my stippling brush applies my makeup. I'm just going down the neck here, you know, you don't want to have your face looking one color and, and your neck is a whole different color. Don't mind my singing. I all do that a lot throughout this video. Make sure that your makeup, that your foundation is dry before you do anything else. It's so important. So right now what I'm doing is taking a napkin. I'm just patting my foundation deeper into my skin just so like if it's not dry, it's getting any moisture off of my face so I can get ready to uh, apply my concealer. Only a little bit of product came off. So I'm taking my Pro Conceal from LA Girl. Great concealer. It's like $2. You freaking can't beat that. And I'm in a color Classic Ivory. <coughs> and I'm just doing a triangle shape under my eyes. I don't put too much because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. And my, my applicator tip is kind of broke. So too much always comes out. And I'm using my Beauty Blender Dupe. To go ahead and just blend that into my face now for to apply my concealer it is freaking amazing like I love that thing I actually apply way too much to this side but that's okay it ended up evening out in the end just make sure that you Blending it in really, 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 really well with that beauty blender. Dude. I forgot the actual name of the dude. I have fun when I do my videos. <laughs> my music videos. I have fun when I do my videos. I always call me musical and that's why I always do the, the voiceovers. Okay, now I'm just applying a little bit to my cupid's bow and around my lips just to make sure that when I apply whatever lipstick, a gloss I'm going to use it looks perfect absolutely perfect like sharp lines like my lips just look like they're on point and I put a little bit on my nose just to kind of brighten my nose up a little bit I don't use I don't contour my nose at all I mean it doesn't bother me I love my little nose shape but I will be using this to contour my cheeks this is um, Maybelline fit me foundation Stick, and this is in a color buff beige which is 130 I'm applying it to the house of my cheeks um, the, my top temples and under my chin and I'm taking my elf small stipple brush just to blend that in really really good the key to contouring what I've been told is to blend and I'm not really too much of a contour person. I've started doing this, and I actually like doing this. It's a really light contour, and it does complement my face. My cheeks are a little, you know, a little chunky. A lot of chunky. It doesn't bother me that much, but I just thought it'd be cool to just to know how to contour a little bit. And it came out really, really well. Like, it looks really nice. You see me feeling myself a little bit in the mirror. Okay, and next what I'm doing is taking my e.l.f. Um, high definition powder, and you really need to be careful with this. This stuff gets everywhere. I love it because it's so soft once it's applied to the skin. It they it literally feels like it's softer than butter. Like it's ridiculous how soft and, and smooth it is. You really have to like pad it in good into your actual skin though because you'll get a little some of those little white little white dots in there you know you gotta make sure that you get those all the way padded into the skin so they'll blend out really nice and this always makes my face extra white so what I'm doing after I do that is I'm just taking a little bit of my Fit Me pressed powder this is in the color I believe 110 um, very light it, it matches my skin tone really well and I'm just um, using my total face brush just to you know sweep that across my face just so I can put a little bit of my of my actual color a little bit of color in my face and now I'm taking my elf um, matte blush and this is in a mellow mauve my favorite blush is wonderful and I'm taking my elf studio um, angled blush brush and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheek 
and just applying it in a circular motion. And that is the end. I do apply some lip gloss in the end, but this is the this is the end look. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.